Hey, what's going on guys? Today we're taking a look at the latest MS General release. This is the Xiao Hao Dun. And keeping in line with the series so far, she's not alone because it's basically like two kits in one because you also have her beast here, the Lu Wu, which is this giant mecha tiger beast. It's really awesome. Let's go ahead and check them both out in today's review. Let's get into it. All right guys, starting off taking a look at this box. Once again, like the previous MS General kits, it's in a pretty big size box. We have a lot of stuff in there, obviously between the female character herself and then that awesome mecha kind of tiger you got going on there. And like with previous kits, you've got like a matte finish background and then the image, the illustration is in like a glossy finish there in the text as well. So it looks pretty cool. Right here in the front of the box as well, you have this short character description, which is pretty cool. And on the side of the box, some very nice line art there of Lu Wu, which is the name of that tiger beast character here. And on the other side, we've got the same artwork as what's on the front of the box. On the bottom of the box, we got a look at Xia Hao Dun there in her armored state with all that cool effect parts and everything going on. Then some detail shots here of Lu Wu and his weaponry and everything going on with that. On the top of the box, here she is with the armor off in the unarmored state and the fully armored state there. These are pictures of the actual kit as well, so you can see what that's going to look like. And it appears to be unpainted, so it should look that good just straight out of the box. But we can go ahead and pop it open and tear into the contents here. First off, we have this very nice art card card here which has some information there I guess a VIP card you can scan that there on the back but on the front some alternate artwork here of the character and just sort of this kind of evening gown there I guess playing what looks to be some sort of flute very cool we got some water slides included in here as well let's take a look at these looks like mostly gray and then a little bit of blue a little bit of white decals there as well those look nice and you have some eye decals for the character also and before we get to everything else let's just go ahead and take a look at the instruction manual so we got the same artwork as what's on the front of the box here on the front some qr codes there stuff in the background on the inside cover here we have a short comic it looks like that's pretty cool showing the character and that looks like some cool artwork there looks to be all in Japanese I believe so here we go on the next page we've got that same artwork again and then a look at your different face options you've got for this and just some other detail shots of the kit itself the arms display there with the two of them combined then we get into the parts list and the construction of the kit, so it's a fair amount of that. So there's going to be a lot of stuff to put together. As we can see, the box is pretty full. There's a lot of stuff to build. On the last page here, we've just got a guide about where to place the decals on the kit. And that's about it. Let's check out the rest of the contents here. First off, here is all of your face parts, the pre-printed ones and the unprinted. So you have two unprinted faces, one with two eyes and one with one eye. Otherwise, you have your printed faces, one with the open mouth, and then two different versions of the two-eyed face there as well. So you got some cool options there, it looks like, for those. We've got a black wire and a white braided cloth here. The A runner, we've got two of these. It's half in gray and then half in this very nice molded silver. Runner B is in this very nice kind of gunmetal color. It looks pretty cool. Runners C, F, D, E, and H are all of your white parts for the kit. So there's quite a lot of these. So you've got white parts, armor pieces for the character herself, and then Lu Wu. Runners I and J are some more silver parts. Now this looks like it's molded in like a molded silver and then also coated, sprayed with like some more silver paint on top of that. So it does look really nice on these parts. Runner K here is a bunch of parts in clear yellow. Runner M is some mechanical bits here in a dark purple color. Runner M is a mix of clear yellow and some more dark gray pieces. Runner N is all of our skin tone parts here for the kit. Runner O has some dark purple parts, some silver parts, and also some light lavender parts there for your hair. Runner P has some more clear yellow parts as well as some more white pieces. Runner Q as well is some more white parts there for the kit. Runner R, we have two of these small runners of some more silver pieces. Same thing for runner S. And then last but not least, runner V is in a softer rubber black. And this looks to be like mostly parts for the hands and these parts which I believe go on like the bottom of the feet. All right, so taking a look at the base form of the K here first before we add on her accessories and weapons and taking a look at her Lu Wu beast as well, which is pretty awesome. But main body itself looks pretty nice. You got a lot of great color separation in there. The clear yellow parts, definitely a highlight of this kit. And aside from the color separation of the parts, you actually do have a lot of really nice surface detail around on the armor pieces as well. Obviously not so much on like the skin tone areas, but not really too much of those. So let's go ahead and take a look at her accessories then. First of all, this piece here on her back, I'm also noticing I put on the wrong way. I think it's supposed to be 
be like that, but you can remove that for her backpack, first of all. It just plugs onto here, and these two main side sections can be articulated. They're just on ball joints, and you can also open them up. And again, the clear yellow parts in there do look really cool. Her crown bit basically just fits over the top of the hair, which works well enough, and it's nice to not have to swap out hair parts for that, because normally, I mean, this would be something that like is connected in with the hair. Having it just rest on the top of there is convenient, I guess, but it's not as solid. As you can see, it just can kind of fall off kind of easily, but it is molded in a way to fit around the hair just right. So as long as you don't mess around with it while it's on there, it fits on there just fine and it'll stay there. The main accessories are gonna be this big massive sword, which again, the clear yellow part for the blade of that looks really nice and it's cool design. And then a shield as well, which is incorporating again some nice detail. And I'm gonna keep saying it, but the clear yellow part looks really nice so this just plugs right into the side of her arm so that's easy enough and then the sword obviously just going to be handheld in one of your holding hand options last thing then for her is going to be this skirt section which plugs into the back of the waist and kind of wraps around the sides and each of these kind of funnels i guess for a lack of a better word is connected on a little ball joint and you can also bend these parts here side to side and this is just going to plug right in here to the lower back you can also omit this center connection piece and attach these directly up onto the backpack parts with those folded down you can plug those onto there and they become kind of wings on there that also frees up this space right there for a base connection now unfortunately this doesn't include any kind of base in the kit that really would have been nice but as it is it's a cool design that massive sword is pretty impressive and the shield is nice too overall the range of articulation is pretty good but the one thing Thing that I don't particularly like about the MS General line of kits is that they don't have quite as much articulation in the torso section. The main torso section is basically made up of a top and bottom half where lines like the Megami Device line, Attack Girls line, Frame Arms Girls line, basically any other Mecha Musume line is usually broken up into three sections where the stomach section and the hip section will be separate pieces that will give you a little bit better articulation. So it's a trade-off. With this you don't have the separated parts so it gives a appearance of a more like natural looking body. But in exchange, you have to sacrifice a little bit of articulation, so it's just this kind of small trade-off. Though it's basically going to do whatever you need it to do. There is also a little bit less articulation around the neck and shoulder areas, again, compared to other Mecha Musume lines, but there's still definitely plenty of really nice posing options that you can do with this, even though you have a little bit less articulation in certain areas. And then we have the Luwu, which is larger than I expected. It's quite big and is very heavily armored up. You have this big cannon here on the side, which is articulated. That's on a ball joint over here on this side. Not exactly sure what type of weapon this is for exactly, but this is also a little bit articulated here, not quite as much, but these doors open up on the front there. You got a clear yellow part inside there, obviously. This little bit right here on the side is where you can actually plug the shield onto there. If you have the girl riding on top, it's an option for where you might wanna keep the shield on the side of there, which is pretty cool. Back around here, you have this other weapon turret. And again, this is articulated you can move these up and down and you can rotate this whole section here side to side and while you do have a ton of detail and color separation and everything in here with this not quite as much articulation again with this so again the head is just on a simple ball joint there you can open and close the mouth and that kind of cannon inside the mouth there you can also change the angle of that up and down but basically you just want it to be pointed straight ahead one thing i do really like about on the clear yellow parts where they have it where it's not like sticking out or it's flat against the plastic they made it in a way so that there's white plastic behind the yellow parts so that they do glow pretty nicely all except for maybe this one up here on the center of the turret but in other places they usually set the yellow parts against white so that means that you can actually see them quite well these bits here at the front are also articulated a little bit these parts here on the side the yellow flap of that will fold out to the side like that here is actually like your foot rests for when you have your character riding on top of here you can put her feet against these parts right there the limbs are just plugged straight into there rather than being on a ball joint so you have a little bit of articulation in them moving up and down and rotating side to side but not quite as much articulation as i feel like it really would have been better for those to be plugged on via a ball joint you also can't rotate them so you can't rotate this limb like out to the side at all or anything so basically it can only move forward and back for the most part of course you have some articulation here at the joints and rotation a little bit there at the claws and then or the paw i should say and then the claws are individually articulated those can move up and down a little bit there as well and it's basically the same around here on the back leg just a slightly different 
arrangement because you have the additional joint there. Just to show you guys a little bit of the underside, these clear yellow parts here in the back, these tend to fall out kind of easily, so just be careful not to lose those. You might want to just glue those in. So you can see, I mean, just taking a look around this, there's a lot of detail everywhere on it and it does look pretty cool. The tail is quite thick and it is uh, articulated if you use the uh, black wire. So if you remember from the unboxing, we had a black wire and kind of white rubber mesh hose. You can choose to use either one of those to string in here in the tail. The black one, I think will be a little bit more solid for giving you better articulation if you want to have this to be able to pose a little bit nicer. But as you can see, you can kind of change the pose of it either kind of one way or the other, but it doesn't hold up the weight very well. It's still gonna be pretty heavy just because you have a lot of pieces there. And especially here at the end, some heavy pieces with that end of that, with this tail blade piece there. So it looks pretty cool and you do have some articulation there, but if you wanted like a really specific pose with this, you might have to do a little bit of modification in that or just make sure that you have the wire in such a way that you're able to keep that in like an upward pose if you wanted it to be. So there you have it guys, whether you really want to consider the Luwu Beast as being sort of like a gigantic accessory to this or basically being like half of the kit itself. It's really two kits in one box, which is pretty awesome and they're both pretty Pretty nice they do both suffer from a little bit lack of articulation in a couple of small areas but honestly that's like the biggest gripe that I could really say about this otherwise it just comes down to if you like the design or not the designs of them are pretty cool I'm not sure if I really particularly like the color scheme on them I think they could look pretty cool in some different color schemes but if you like the white I would definitely recommend at least going in with like some panel liner and just like a gray or a light lavender if you can manage that I think would look really awesome as the panel line color on this but it's got some really great details the clear yellow parts everywhere look fantastic fantastic on it and overall it's a very interesting and unique design for sure so let me know your guys thoughts down in the comment section below what do you think about this kit or what do you think about this set i guess is probably a better word for it i think there's definitely a lot to like in this so i'm interested to know what part of this set is maybe your favorite and of course if you guys are interested in checking this kit out or any of the other ms general line or other mechamusume lines we got all that for you guys here at usa gundam store the link will be down in the video description below so you can check that out and as always guys if you'd like to also like the video or subscribe that would be greatly appreciated but thank you all so much for watching today until next time, hope you're all having a great one, and I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.